Today I have an Acer model N17Q1 laptop that is performing extremely poorly and now it actually won't boot. I believe it has a failing hard drive. When you turn it on, Windows detects the disk but just can't boot. It, it sits and spins for ages. If you try that three times, it goes into automatic repair and attempts to fix disk errors. So. Uh, I strongly believe there's something wrong with the hard drive, so I'm going to attempt to clone the disk onto an SSD and see if that helps. Uh, often, Windows will have a much better time booting and installing updates and so on if the drive is fast and responsive. And when these disks begin to fail, they just get very, very slow as Windows tries to, or as the disk tries to map data around the failing area. So. Let's see if we can get this open and hopefully the hard drive is easy to get to. I've never opened one of these, this specific model before, but there's the hard drive and it's very easily accessible. I also want to poke uh, have a look at the RAM here because she said it was very slow. What she described sounded to me like disk swapping so it's probably got it's got four gigs of RAM but it only has one memory slot um, DDR4 it's an Intel Core i3 processor so I think this laptop would be worth saving it's a 17 inch laptop with a Core i3 processor, so you know if it's just a failing hard drive, then I would say upgrading that to an SSD would probably be, you know, breathe another few years of life into this thing. I don't see any screws holding this in. It does have like a rubberized hard drive holder. So I'm going to pry gently and see if I can get that to just come up. Yeah, it's going to release. It's coming up on its own. I was just being too gentle. This rubber has been in there a long time and it was just kind of stuck. So this is a Seagate one terabyte hard drive. I don't know. Let's plug it in and see if we can get the computer to read it. Okay, I've restarted and Minitool picked up the new drive, picked up the customer's drive, which is this one terabyte Seagate drive with an Acer partition that's not really very full and then an empty 500 gigabyte crucial MX 500 so I'm just going to clone this as is resizing partitions so I'll make the target this blank disk for MX 500 unallocated and we'll just let it fit the partitions to the disk Disk 5 to disk 4. So disk 5 is the Seagate. Disk 4 is the crucial apply. Drive is done. Windows thinks there's a problem with the disk. We shall see. I wonder if some of these errors might be related to the disk errors they had been, that this computer had been experiencing. I'm going to back up their data onto 
this red thumb drive. I've got an assortment of colors and I usually pick the color of the laptop just because I'm special like that. So I'll give them back their computer with a working SSD plus a thumb drive. So they've got Norton security on here. Oh, it's got eight gigs around. Okay. So their problem with performance was just a failing hard drive. And I think this computer is in really good shape now. So I'm just going to copy their data to the backup. I might uh, not include video footage of that just to preserve their privacy and uh, call this one a success. So thank you very much for watching.